Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's split path time. Left, right, left, right. What do we do? I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna have to pick one. Since I was facing left, I might as well start out by going left. Why not? Then I'll have to come back around for, to do the uh, other path a little bit later to, you know, clear out the rooms and whatnot. Because why not? It'll be fun. Break apart suits of armor, I suppose. Uh, oh, this room. You have to hit, uh, light these torches in a certain way because they, um, what they do is they, I don't, I don't want to say DCs, they, um, burn out faster than other ones. I mean, certain ones burn out faster than other ones, so you gotta kind of do them in the, in the right order. I might actually, let's just try for the heck of it seeing what Wolf Link has to say about this ordeal. Maybe it'll show the order numbers or something like that. No? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Trial and error it is then, I suppose. So, get out your lantern again. And... Let's... Oh god. Keys. I forgot they pop in when you light these things. And... Wait, what? Oh, see that? The other one on the... Uh, on that side was burnt out before the other ones. That's what I mean about some burning out faster than the other ones. So that one, I want to light last, I guess. Let's do that one, that one. I think that other one's still lit. Oh no, it's not. Uh, oh, poop. <laughs> uh, how does this even work? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the room that you can use to shoot down the portraits. See that nail? Yeah. Ah, that explains it. I forgot about that. So, which corner do they want me to... Do they want me to start from here and then go corner to corner? Maybe? Like that? Is that what the sign me meant? I guess so. I didn't know, because there could be like four different ways to do that particular puzzle based on, you know, because this is a square, that's a square, you get the idea, it can be rotated. Okay. Good, good. Uh, I think this is pretty well cleared out. I don't see any chests in the room anyway, so moving on. And this should be leading us to the other chest that I thought... Oh, armored Dynalophosis! They're not hard at all. <laughs> but I should try to attract one at a time. Like going from one side of the room and just getting the attention of one. Preferably the right one. There we go. Get him away from the other one. This is this is kinda cheating though, in a way. Because <laughs> you're you're kinda circumventing the the challenge they intended you to have here. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I had the great slice there. I mean the um, the great spin there, excuse me. And that's... It's pretty broken. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ain't gonna happen. Come on. Eh, eh, eh. Come on. He'll drop your guard eventually, I know you. That. <laughs> finish! Oh, it's kinda hard to finish them. Their finish time is very, very, very small. There we go. Uh, I heard a rupee drop. Oh, there it is. <laughs> See, uh, like I said in the other part, the treasure chests that I think I missed are down this path, I think. So that's what I'm going to do. Mm, well, at least, you know, one of the paths. You see, there's, there's this entire... Uh, section of get a second. Where is oh? Errol of false battle of epicness. I believe there's a similar battle on the other side. Quite a few mini bosses from past dungeons in this final dungeon, and it makes a lot of sense because you know it's like the finale of sorts of the game to test you on everything. Put up your shield. 
and your and lower your guard. <laughs> I know you do it eventually. Come on, you. I know you well. <laughs> I've battled a bunch of you guys already. Oh, what if I should have just did the the great spin a little bit earlier? Yeah, but whatever. Oh. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't care if you go back in the air, you're best off in the air because you'll eventually put up your shield, and then I will be happy once I grab you as you're putting up your shield. Because you are going to take a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, come on! You didn't take a lot of damage, it's kind of kind of threw me off a little. <laughs> All right, no. Okay, I jumped the gun there, I admit that. <laughs> Inside here, is it something that I can pick up? Oh, it's a key. That's definitely something I could pick up. I ex actually expected it to be rupees, unless that's what I'm thinking the other end had. Or something. Mm okay. Now I'm going to, uh, to go up the slope until I reach the middle door. And then I'm going to come around the other side via that split path. Or actually, come to think of it. There's still that middle room that I have yet to get, and... Okay, that... I'm, I'm gonna leave that. Yeah, I'm gonna go around the other side, because I have yet to go through that door... ...we've seen here, and I think that's gonna lead me to the spot where I can navigate the chandelier room properly, and actually manage to get to the spot that I can get that treasure chest from. So yeah, you go from here, you go back into the center room... Still two chests to get in this room, which are still kind of a mystery to me because I kind of forgot. Oh, well, there's that. Oh, and this lowers the chandelier so you can... Ah, that's a shortcut. Now I remember. Okay. But this room still isn't solved, so... I have yet to finish this place, I suppose. I can't jump on top of the chandeliers because of the candles, obviously, but I can't hang down from above. Uh, how do I... <laughs> Let me check my map here, because I might actually have to go through this room. Yeah, when I come around the other side, I'll get to that treasure chest there. Okay. So I'm going to drop down and do the loop again, except this time I'm going to take the right route. So I'm going to drop off there. I remember the chandelier room was puzzling on my first run because you had to go through this room a couple of times. I figured that I missed something because I could see the chests on the map there. They're just there to fool you, I suppose. <laughs> and back in here, you know the drill. Grab that. Stand on the very edge. Lock on. Voila! Now we go this way. I should probably pull out my sword, I guess. Boop. Ah, uh, though he puts it away when I enter a new room. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, what do we have here? Oh my. Oh, these guys are even weaker than the other side. They don't have the armor. I could actually take them on both at the same time, so I don't have to, to bother with the whole, um, see what I mean? <laughs> I don't have to bother with the whole, uh, divide and conquer thing that I did in the other room. Okay, this room, you want to cut some stuff off the walls and find a switch. Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Ah, it's not. They're fake switches. I guess you can get some... Pfft. I wanted to do my spin attack again, but I forgot about its charge time. Come on. Stop forming. Start dying. <laughs> there we go. Mm, I should probably do these switches one at a time then. There's probably one behind every portrait in this room. I will do them all though, because that'll be fun. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one, I guess. What does this get me? More! More! More is not better in this case. 
Unless you want lantern oil, I suppose. Yeah, oh, whoa, a lot of them this time. Dang choo-choos. <laughs> it's always the last one you pick, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think there's any more in this room either. Yeah, it looks like I got them all. It was quite literally the last one that I picked. Alright, moving on. So what do we have here? Oh man, oh man. I'll never be able to take on two at once. <laughs> Although, I will probably want to do the divide and conquer thing. I just get the attention of one and get him on this side of the room. Come on. I know you see me. Unless your helmet is just that hard to see through. Um, <laughs> the little nudges. There we go. To the other side! <laughs> uh, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Break apart these while I wait for... Mr. Slow there to come through here. And he's still taking a while, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> I don't have to do that, I'm just doing that for fun, and I totally flubbed that. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, come on. A little bit more towards this side, just so it's a little safer and further away from the other guy. Oh. Mm -mm. Come on, do the overhead. Not that way. Well, I guess that works. As long as you make yourself vulnerable, I suppose. <laughs> mm, keep going. Yeah, that works. I guess it doesn't really matter how you swing, just as long as you make yourself vulnerable like that. <clears throat> Aww, you nick me. How dare you nick me. And that's it. <laughs> I'm so used to fighting those guys now. Ooh, lots of hearts. I don't think I will ever need a potion in this dungeon. Come on, overhead. Or not. The overheads are a little bit easier because it, it's it, it's almost guaranteed for him to make himself vulnerable on that side. Like that. See, because it takes him a while to recover after he swings down that sword slash mace. Whatever the heck that is. <laughs> it's an interesting weapon he has, actually. There we go. Bring it on! And that's it. <laughs> so sad how easy they go down once you know how to defeat them, huh? Alright. And... Break apart some stuff, I guess. Hopefully not dulling my sword in the process by hitting the walls. <laughs> these suits of armor never really contain anything, do they? I'm not getting anything from these suckers. Anyway, now that I took the other path, I should, keyword should, <laughs> be able to finish the central room here. Because this door is another room that leads to the shan uh, chandelier room here. Likely with another switch. Boop. Ah, okay. So that is how you get that chest to appear over there. Good. And there's a chest over here. Purple rupee? I can't fit that in. Magic wallet! I mean, magic armor! Magic wallet. I think too much infomercials. So, this is going on, and I'm going to get myself over to the other side of the room while my rupee count depletes somehow. <laughs> um, how do you get. Can you actually go from that chandelier to that one? Because I know you can't, like, as I said, you can't jump on top of it. I know I can grab onto that one from here. But the question is, can I get to that? Oh, I can. Yay! I'll be back for the other one in a second. Oh, come on! <laughs> How long do I have to wait for my armor to deplete my wallet enough? to let me get what's in that treasure chest. Cut! 
There we go. Now I can pick it up. <laughs> Money is truly life's most life's biggest problem. Oh wait, wait, can I can I get back up there from here? I, I didn't really take that into consideration. I might have to actually go around again, which isn't really a big deal because I already got you know, there from the other side before, and it's really easy to get around there now that I cleared the place out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go around again, aren't I? Curses! Fine, be that way. And we're back at this door. <laughs> this was the door that led to the treasure chest with the purple rupee to begin with. Yeah, you know. You just seen that. You know how to get here. Don't tell me you don't know how to get here because you do. <laughs> Alright, and maybe I should put away the magic armor, just to make sure that I have a consistent challenge. I just wore it all the way up here to deplete my rupee count a little further. Just to keep things flowing, I suppose. And I'm gonna go this way. Because there is going to be a battle for the boss key! Oh no! Dine la forces! And snipers. Woo! Who saved me? My good buddy back from Ordon Village. I should say good buddies. <laughs> We're all storming the castle together. Well, apparently we are now. But if you're asking me, I personally didn't think I would have had any trouble with that anyway. I just took on two dark nuts and yeah. It's the big key to get in the boss's lair. Alright, let's move on. And there's still quite a bit of dungeon to go here. Now this is the other slope that leads up to that locked door from the other side. Wait, wait, where? where, where the, the treasure chest? What? Where did you... Huh? <laughs> How do I get... Did I miss one? On the lower level? Because I thought you had to get that one from... That side and... Hmm... Hmm... Uh, I can't... I'm not gonna go through that locked door up there until I get all the chests down here, so... <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the courtyard and see if I can figure out where the heck that chest was that I missed. I suppose? While well, flopping around the castle looking for a way to get that chest, I was thinking to myself, how do you tell which one is the real switch? Like, is it really trial and error? No, it is not! I forgot to check this in wolf form. <laughs> yeah, the dead soldiers will tell you which switch is the correct one, and the other ones will drop chew on you. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna continue looking. Wait, what? There was a ladder in this place with the Triforce thing all along? That dang wind Triforce puzzle? Now let me guess, this leads to the treasure chest, right? And this is actually a return route, isn't it? it sure looks like it from the, the way the map is glowing now. I mean, the way the treasure chest is glowing on the map. And yeah, I'm following the path. It looks like it's going to lead right towards the chest. There's a drop-off point. There's a chest. What's inside? I don't know. It's a yellow rupee. So now I know. Alright, I'm gonna go back over to that locked door now. And I made it back to the locked door, but I think it's a good time to end off the part, actually, because once I do some editing and whatnot, it should be a regular part length. So, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.